Okay, um, islands. This is a poem that appeared in the Pushkot, first published in poetry. An island is one great eye gazing out, a beckoning lighthouse, searchlight, a wishbone compass, a counterweight to the stars. When it comes to outlook, a point of view, a figure stands on the rocky ledge, peering out towards an archipelago of glass on the mainland, a seagull's wings touching the tip of a high wave out to where the brain may stumble. But when a mind clams down from its high, craggy lookout, we know it is truly a stubborn thing and has to leaf through pages of dust and light through pre-memory and folklore, remembering fars rode down there till they pushed up through the sea floor and plumes of ash covered the dead, shaking away worlds away and silence filled up with centuries of waiting. Sea urchin, turtle and crab came with earthly know-how and one bird arrived with a sprig in his beak before everything clouded with cries, a millennium of small deaths, now topsoil, and seasons of blossoms and a single seed. Light edged across salt-crusted stones, across a calorac of blue water, and lost sailors' parrots spoke of sirens, the last word of men buried at sea. Someone could stand here contemplating the future, leafing through torn pages of St. Augustine or of the prophecies of fishermen, translating spur and folly down to Tabrut, the dreamy-eyed boy, still in the man, the girl, and the woman. A sunny forecast behind today, but tomorrow's beyond words. We behold a body of water to behold a body of water is to know pig iron and mother wet. Whoever this figure is, he will soon return to dancing through the aroma of Dagger's Log, Ginger Lily, and Bolinvillia. Between chants and strings struck till gourds rally the hill and air, until the church steeple birds fly sweet darkness home. Whoever this friend or lover is, he intones redemptive harmonies. To lie down the remembrance is to know each of us is a prodigal son or daughter, looking out beyond land and sky, the chemical and metaphysical beyond fallen and turning water wheels in the colossal brain of damnable gods, a eureka held up to the sun's blinding eye, born to gaze into far at the conquering frontiers the mind comes back to rest stretching over the white sand